Hello everyone. In this video, so we'll see how can we call the functions inside this map, right? So currently we are using lambda, right? So usually we go for lambda in case if our logic is short and sweet. What happens if our you know the logic is big? So obviously we should go for definitions, right? So yeah. So when you see here for this particular filter, right? What we'll do is we'll try to create a function, right? So I'll say def filter data data element which is my input variable so i'll say if element yeah this particular come on element of one same you'll get the whole list is double equal to this value i'm saying return element right so now let me call this function inside this oops my bad see oops, it happens right right so now yeah now let me run this what is this E L E M E N T. Oh yeah. So we are returning the wrong name. Now let me run this again. It's running. Yes. Did you see? It worked. Right. So either you can you go with the lambda in case if your logic is short and sweet as we discussed, or else you can also go with the function based approach. Did you notice anything here? Right. If you see this particular function is expecting one input variable called element, input value called element, right? But when we are calling this particular function in our filter, and maybe in the filter or in map, did you see this? We are not passing any parameter. We are not passing any input parameter, right? So automatically, right? So it will pass it. So whenever you are calling any function, you need not to pass the parameters right so apache beam will automatically take care of it that's the beauty of it right so yeah this is what i wanted to you know cover in this video how can you know we call the functions in our beam logic so hope you enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you